Hey everyone, my name is Brendan Finch and I'm the co-founder of Inner Orbit, where all we do is create assessments and activities for students to make sense of novel phenomena. In this video, we're going to look at using the elements of SEPs to give students a specific target for their work. In your classroom, you can then use these targets to more accurately measure student progress over time and give support exactly how and where students need it. So, the NGSS isn't about students writing CER statements. You can look at the standards and maybe, maybe you can see a few elements of a single SEP that ask students to do this. We also aren't asking students to do more labs or stop doing labs and cease all love and affection for science. Nay. <laughs> the SEPs are very explicit and specific, and what we want students to do is very explicit and specific. In our last video, we chatted about the K-12 progressions, and those provide very specific guidelines for what students should be doing at each grade level from kindergarten up to 12th grade. But in this video, instead of asking students to draw more models, let's dive into specific performance expectations to get specific, get specific. about what we're asking students to do. We're gonna dive into an Earth Science Performance Expectation where we look at HSESS21. That asks students to develop a model to illustrate how Earth's internal and surface processes operate at different spatial and temporal scales to form continent and ocean floor features. Oh boy. So in this PE, students are asked to develop a model based on evidence to illustrate the relationships between systems or between components of a system. They need to show either how different parts of a single system are interacting or different parts of two different systems and how those systems interact with each other. So we're looking at both continental features and ocean floor features. What I really want to drive home for this is that students aren't just drawing a model of how ocean features are formed. Mm. What we want students to show is how the system inside the Earth is impacting these systems outside the Earth and how we see these features developing because of the mechanisms inside of the Earth. We're looking at the relationship between those two systems and being able to model both the internal system of the Earth and the external system and how those internal things create the external things that's about the, the insides connecting to the outside. Really all we're looking at here is just getting specific about the SEPs. We want students to not just draw a model, but draw a model of two systems that interact. If you wanna practice some of what we talked about in this video, go ahead and click on the link in the description to try out an activity where you look at the specificity of the performance expectations and the activities that students should be doing along with those PEs. And maybe some sample phenomena that you can take with you and uh, you know, try out in your classrooms. If you liked this video, go ahead and, you know, like or subscribe and uh, leave us a comment and let us know how you get specific with your assessments that you give your students. Thank you very, very much for watching. Okay, a lot of exciting things happening out there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your day and we'll see you soon.